We are here at the Richmond Hill Sports Complex and they've called us in because they have birds chirping in a wall near the, uh, near the garage. So let's go have a look and see what's going on. So there's chirping sounds coming from behind this metal clad wall. And it sounds like the noise is at the bottom of the wall, which is unusual for birds because we know that the entrance is up high and if babies have got to the point where they were gonna go out, but miss going out and falling down the wall, they're gonna to need to be rescued. Otherwise, they're gonna die at the bottom of the wall. So we're gonna to proceed to take this apart. There's a few bolts on the bottom we can remove, open up the wall and see what's behind. So there are at least two baby starlings. They're old for this time of year. And my guess is they were becoming fledged, which means they were just starting to get their wings and learning how to fly. And rather than go out the hole, they went down the wall. So definitely if, if we didn't uh, get the call to come out, these guys would certainly just die at the bottom of this wall. So we're gonna do everything within our power to get at them and, and get them out of here. I'm not hurting them. They're just quite, quite upset. So one's a complainer and the other one's pretty calm here. So that's two of the three. So they should be able to fly. They're, they have full wing feathers and we're just going to take them outside and release them. Get him up in the tree. So he'll start to call out to the uh, parent birds and they'll come in and continue to feed them, but they're very close to being able to fly on their own. We're going to go in for the last guy. Um, he's tucked away in the corner there. You can see his back in there. A little tougher to get at because he's he's closed in. Hopefully he can't go any further. I'm gonna take off my gloves so I can get a good grip on him when I come in close. Okay, you got him by his foot. He's not too happy. It's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna give you back to your mom and dad. Everything's okay. <laughs> so two out of the three were big complainers. We'll take him outside and put him in the tree with his siblings. So you go see your brother or sister that's in the tree already. Able to fly. So we just released three of the baby starlings outside and we're coming back in to close it up and we hear one more, at least one more on this side of the opening. So I'm going to reach in. I can see a tail feather and hopefully he won't run away on me. What I'm grabbing onto. So there's the fourth baby in the wall. He's not as nervous as his brother and sister. So we'll take him out. Oh, 
number five. <laughs> they just keep on coming. Okay. They can lay up to six or seven eggs, so it's not unusual that they would have five babies. It's a little bit surprising that all five of them ended up down the wall. I can see the other two in the branches, so they're quite content staying up here for a little bit. <laughs> oh, there's mom. Say she's ready to feed them already, so that's very cool. She landed with food in her mouth. So she will continue to feed them on the ground as you just saw and uh, give them enough strength to develop the last couple of days to get their wings going and, and be able to fly. So we've gotten five in total out, three on that end of the opening and then two more this way. So I want to open up one more bolt just to be sure that there's nothing back in this area here. So we'll do that now. Okay, so number six. <laughs> He's trying to defend himself as best he can. Out to the tree we go. So the parent birds are anxious to, to get to them. So we're gonna put this guy up in the tree and she will continue to feed them. Yeah, there's six of them. The parent, the, yeah, and they're very close to the pine. Yeah. So was anybody tracked in the bottom? Five, six of them at the bottom. Okay. And, they, oh. and they would have died if you didn't, somebody didn't call. Holy moly! So it was a great call. <laughs> wow. Okay, we managed to put back the metal the way it was before we got here. And the last thing for us to do is to screen the entry hole so this type of situation doesn't happen again in the future. <laughs>